Hello guys, how's it going? So, sorry first of all for the microphone, I'm back in Italy for the holidays and I left my good pair of headphones uh, back in London, so I don't have a nice microphone which uh, let me record this video, but anyway, uh, today I just want to share a quick update on what I'm working on, so I'm doing some parallel image processing lately. Well, uh, for many reasons, first of all, I just want to get better with the C++ and want to, to finally start doing some parallel coding, like uh, using PVB on the CPU or CUDA on the GPU. So, so far, I did most of my um, developing on the Linux between CentOS and Ubuntu, but then uh, when I was here uh, with my laptop in Italy, uh, I tried to install CUDA on my Ubuntu partition and it freaked out really bad for the famous problem between NVIDIA, Optimus, or, sorry, or Intel Optimus, anyway, with Optimus technology uh, and NVIDIA. So basically it freaked out really bad, it doesn't boot anymore. So until I don't go back to London uh, where I have my desktop, which doesn't have the problem because it's running a desktop video card, uh, I have to do the CUDA development on Windows, and that's why you see me running Windows right now. But enough talking, and let's actually see something. So I'm gonna run on a 2K, I think a 2K image. So this one actually. So I'm going to run on this image uh, a blur, 20 iteration of blur, just because I'm using a small radius. It's really simple blur so far. and just for demonstration, I'm going to run the debug version, which is slower. And the reason why I do that, it allows me to also show you the process going on there. So right now, the serial is processing. It's kind of hard to see which processor is doing that because uh, I have a lot going on. I have Visual Studio running. I have also my browser open, I have a screen recorder, so it looks like that the CPU is fairly busy, so one of these is actually processing. I might say this one because it looks like the more consistent. It's processing the you know, the blur in serial and it should take around a minute in a test it was doing before. It takes far far less when I do that uh, in release mode of course because you have Way less constructing the, the program, the C, uh, sorry, the compiler optimized a lot that. But we should be fairly done now. And when the serial version is done, the CPU parallel, so using PVB, should start. So we should actually see all the, the cores going up. Uh, both physical and logical cores. Here we go, so it's finished. And we see now the, G, uh, the CPU jump really high and we can see here all our core are busy processing the image and it should take around like 14 seconds of course and then the, you can see the GPU is really fast and even if it's in the debug mode the NVCC compiler aggressively will be aggressively optimized anyway uh, but so let's actually see the result that so that's the original, that's the blurred image, okay? So that's 20 iteration, just because it's a really simple uh, blur, okay? Uh, I'm working on a Gaussian blur, which will force me, since we, we are going to have a, a radius, so on the fly, uh, a difference or better, like uh, a stencil that I'm going to use a com in the convolution of the image, which can have different size because it's the input of the user. It says, okay, I want to have like a fill, uh, sorry, a stencil of width 20 or its radius 10, whatever. So it will force me to implement a generic convolution mm, kernel on the GPU. So once I do that, I can actually apply Gaussian blur, sharpening, and a lot of, or probably also edge detection thing uh, fairly easily. But let me just run the, the release one, so you actually you can see which is going to run much much faster. So now it's reading the image, it's going to process. In the timing, I removed the different 
um, sorry, um, the loading of the image and, and all this kind of stuff. Oh, sorry, I actually was not running this because it says the image is not valid. Oh, probably didn't recompile. Let me recompile that. Okay, so it's released, so it should be fine now. There we go. That's another part. Okay, there we go, so it's running. So you see, like, two seconds, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Uh, so, that's it, guys. One thing, uh, I actually did a lot of testing on that, and uh, I, I made a blog post. You can see the link in the description of the video if you want to see all the time. So, I also put together uh, some charts to see the different performance, and I tested on a several range of size of the images, so like 1K, 2K, 3K, up to 9K. So, and uh, each computation has been around 20 times and average the results. So, we have a more consistent timing, not just the one, for example, the one I run right now was fairly slow, and I believe it might be due to the, to the screen recorder. But anyway, so that's it, guys. So I will keep you posted for, for the future, uh, for the, the next step I'm going to do. But as I said, the next step is going to be a version blur, and then we'll see where to go from there. Okay, guys, see ya.